Ben's poll volt um, is 6.25 meters possible. Yes, I think yeah. I think 6.30 is possible. I think like, I, the only reason Mondo is like doing these one centimeters is, is for the money. <clears throat> That's the only reason he's doing it, right? Like you get a world record, you get more money, just keep doing every centimeter. I think he'd go like 6.40 one day. Like this guy's crazy. It is. It is absolutely wild. I'm also really excited that um, Christopher Nielsen, I mean, he looks good too. You know, he's he's in that over six foot. Last year he jumped, what, 6.05 meters. So mm -hmm. he's, he's right up there. Um, I was really blown away by um, the Norwegian athlete from Princeton. And my, I'm going to mess his name up, uh, but Sandra Gutorsman. Gutorsman? Is that? Yeah. You know who you are, um, but the Princeton athlete who went out uh, and tied the NCAA indoor pole vault record, uh, and he won the national championship, but he cleared six meters, which is absolutely like that is that's the bar. No, yeah. pun, I guess pun intended, but that is the bar, right? That all pole vaulters kind of look at now. That's the Bubka bar, right? And six meters is it's nineteen feet eight and a quarter inches. Yep. And if we think about Mondo, Mondo De Prontes, current world record holder and kind of the new Usain Bolt, I guess, hype for track and field athletes. He also, he has that. He's got the outdoor record also, which we'll talk about that in a second. But I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here going, you know, where is he going to sit outdoor wise? Where is he going to sit when it comes to world championships? And I'll we can break that down in just a second, but I think this guy is he's on he's on his way, and it's cool also seeing a Princeton athlete. You've had a lot of athletes out of Princeton or recently that are kind of at this this level, so it's cool seeing some of the Ivy Leagues Ivy League athletes coming out and and knocking it out. It's awesome. Yeah, I'll I'll say that um what I love kind of just speaking about the idea of Princeton. Last it was either last year or the year before, uh, there was Chris Nielsen, um, right in the pole vault from South Dakota. There was um, Sean Barber a couple years ago from Akron. I love that the pole vault kind of brings out, you know, some of these schools that aren't like the top top schools in a sense, like Hughes or whatever, right? It brings some of these uh, these top athletes out from all these smaller schools. <laughs> um, but I think this is a really really big deal. Where, like you said, jumping six meters. Um, is that's the bar that's where you got to get to and at that point going going further is like it's a given it's almost a given right you're yeah. getting that rhythm it's uh you're set so i think at this point if he's already jumped that indoors he's going to at least equal it outdoors and if anything he might go farther and i think because of how much um how consistent mondo has been jumping all these high marks <clears throat> that's really pulling other people to like be at their best it's like okay you jump six meters you jump uh 19 you know 19 feet eight inches that's not good enough you have to chase mondo you got to go to 20 meters you got to go even farther right so <laughs> that's such a good point the talent as talent improves and you have these other athletes that you get to jump against it raises everybody's talent i mean that's a huge thing like going back to the 90s you had all of these athletes that were jumping 28 feet like all, like so many that were jumping twenty eight feet all in 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 college, you know, and then in pros. So the higher talent breeds higher talent. It's such a cool aspect, and now we kind of got that in the pole vault. And the pole vault is such a tight knit community too, so they're always so supportive. So it's kind of cool that they get this kind of limelight or the the light because you know, I guess there was a after Bubka, Bubka there's kind of a little plateau. Yeah. And then Mondo comes around and kind of shoots up. Although women's pole vault, you've had a lot of success um, over the recent years. Um, you, I'll say though, because women's pole vault is also very new, so that's that kind of goes to your other point as well. So yeah. exactly.